Hello everyone, today I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions on the 99 Lies reboot. The first point I want to hit on is the design changes. I completely respect what they did here, but personally I think this is bad. Uh, because I really liked, um, since I'm here for the music, I really liked how pink is progressive house, yellow is electronic, orange is bass, purple is chill, and etc. But, um, what they did, they completely got rid of that. And I just didn't like that. I really liked how there's a way to see, you know, from the thumbnail or whatever. Oh, well, this is the style of music that they're going to have here. And, um, I, I also, I do like about this change. Um, it look, it seems more like a Monster Cat style change. And I do like that. Um, each you know track or artist has their own has their own background to them and um that's that's really cool i do like the graphic you know the i guess you could say the fonts and everything i like that change as well um but the thing that they did here they just wanted some kind of excitement back for you know people who came from sunday because you know for a while it, all it was uh was you know, less experienced artists were getting on the label. There wasn't really... You know, I'm not saying that they're bad. They're great artists, but they're just not big names that, you know, people from Sunday have heard of, and they just don't want to stay around because of that. So they just wanted to bring excitement back. Speaking of artists, um, uh, my next point, the music. Um... As you can see, these you know these artists and songs, Horsemen, J.F.R. Tomatow, uh, Reflect and Ben Lepper, that whole EP, uh, Made Monster, Laputa, the lightest music that we've had since the reboot. That whole EP is Future Bass, and uh, Fresh Kabar, Castra, Underdog, uh, and then you have Pixel Terror, Other Side, and then Spoiler Alert for the next two tracks, another Pixel Terror, and Ecstasia Wreak Havoc, and um, if you couldn't tell what I'm trying to get at here, they are all bass, and I personally love that. I love, you know, bass, you know, you could trap, dubstep, rhythm, you know, even future bass, all that stuff. I really like it, but whether to say if it's good or bad, that's just in the eyes of the viewer. My last point is the updates on the channel, near future. Um, the, the first video I'm going to be releasing after this is ranking the 99 lives best of 2017 uh voted from the 99 lives fans the 21 songs on there um and this is that's actually inspired by red hawk and ben leper um the next video after that my uh personal 30 favorite tracks on monster cat from 2017 and for me, that has taken a lot of work. Um, in the, you know, in a, just a few weeks, I've listened to, you know, over 150 tracks, and that, you know, that's a lot of work. You know, if you couldn't tell. And, you know, these are all songs I haven't heard of before. So it's really cool to see, you know, new artists I haven't heard of before listen to those. And uh, the last. The, the next videos after those two are going to be uh, EP videos, and I'm going to be doing those in uh, chronological order, starting from the Made Monster EP all the way down to the uh, the Laputa uh, Remnants EP. And um, yeah, I'm just going to see what I can come up with from there. I'll see you in the next videos. <laughs>